por la mañana en Linz. todavía es Austria. And they had the idea to paint the cotton stones originally in the colors of our town, white and red. And a few years ago, with our university and the many nations we have in town, they thought it nice to make it multicolored, uh, like uh, multinational also. To give you a feeling how deep you would have been in water, you can look to the top of the window, water level, 30th June 2013, that's more than twice my size, around three times my size. Oh, I love it. Indeed, the motto this year is recycling. Recycling. Yeah. Reusing things yeah. um, which people normally. I don't know, it is also working for Tim Morgan, the painter of all these beautiful paintings of Passau and sceneries. Ladies and gentlemen, please. I know you will admire his uh, artwork. However, here is also history. And behind that glass, uh, on the right hand side of you, there's a granite cannonball to be seen behind that small window here in the dark. And those cannonballs were fired once when our citizens were not nice to our bishop. There were times of rivalries. And uh, those rivalries were because people demanded more rights and privileges and did not always get what they wanted. And so they were not nice to the bishop, they chased him out of town. <laughs> and he was not amused, it's reported, because he had to take a rowboat across the river Danube to get to reach his two castles. And the lower castle was several times by the citizenry conquered, and then he had to flee on foot. What a shame uphill. Oh, thank you. And we have the original of a plaque of the 17th century. Now you come from Vienna, and in Vienna you may have heard about an Austrian emperor, 17th century, Leopold I, who got married to a Bavarian princess. Not in Bavaria, not in Austria, here in Passau. Mm. Wild man, fierce beard, now put a tree in his arms to show how strong he is. And I can prove my stories. Wildermann, wild man. <laughs> wild man, river in. We'll see that river soon. Thank you. So this will be the entrance, and you are interested, as Monsieur Neil Amster. You see the proud owners, Mr. and Mrs. Hurtle. And then you have a lady you heard about her also in Vienna, and you may know her from the movies. Cease. That's a Bavarian princess who got married in Vienna to an Austrian emperor, Franz. And then he addressed Orbuchov via TV. 
and he said two very famous sentences. The first was, Mr. Gorbachev, open this Brandenburg Gate. And then he added, Mr. Secretary, tear down this wall. To me, as a retired teacher, it shows when you believe in a vision, and it shows you also the power of word when you use the vision. Because when I think back of my younger days, and I read in the newspapers about people trying to get from Eastern Germany to Western Germany, crossing maybe once one of the deadliest borders worldwide, and more than a hundred lost their lives. And then, a few words, the words were heard, the wall disappeared within three years, not a single shot was fired. <laughs> Esto es una pila de cerveza. Que cuando le quitan el candado, la gente viene y se sirve su trago. Ahí. Alemania. Bavaria, para ser más exacto. Dice que está tocando una melodía. La alcaldía. Nine other European states. So, so it's a good idea to have the immigration office here also, with people nowadays coming mostly from private service and uh, down the far away from here. Passau lived for a very long time on the train of salt. That salt came from the area of Salzburg and Berges. This is the head of the suspension which is called Roman Place. The Romans came in the first century after Jesus Christ. Next year, we'll be celebrating and commemorating 800 years of the foundation of the castle in 1219. So that was just the period of the time when they uh, finished the central part of the castle. Early 13th century, and the lower castle was built in the middle of the 13th century. Castle houses, a district museum, also interesting. Walking around is free, just falling in love, got married, and stayed here. So, a Roman fortified place was here, and also a civilian settlement of the people trading was nearby under the protection of the Romans. For uh, 500 years, the church then burnt down. Part of it is left, and you see this timeline ends abruptly here. In the middle of the century, another Truman brigade, all these empty possessions to the Bishop of Passau. So and we'll walk through here very soon. All other saints have rays around their heads, but no stars. So let's continue. All other saints have rays around their heads, but no stars. Well, it's so difficult.
difficult when one is not a native speaker to know all the differences uh, and to use the right words. No girl. Good time, yeah. <laughs> Santo que me apagaron una Santo que mataron a Pedra. La entrada no es muy impresionante. Dice que tiene el órgano más grande de cualquier catedral en el mundo. Thank you. 